What's up gang, Chris at Team Aquascape. We have an incredible indoor custom stack slate wall water feature for you today. Check it out. We are using our stack slate spillway walls today to create kind of a unique, one of a kind, very contemporary indoor water feature. The customer today is a general contractor who also is a koi enthusiast. So you got the truck rolling up behind me there. That's our rock and gravel. He wanted to bring his pond into his workspace. Back behind me, you see this long stretch of office buildings. He has recently remodeled and it looks incredible in there, guys. High end, high end finishes. What we're doing right now is basically prepping the site for for our construction process. We don't want it left dirty, so we are covering everything up with fabric, laying plywood down. See, we've got one of our Azuzus there. We're using these two tubs in case you folks out there are curious what those are. We are going to take those over to his residence where he has his existing pond, take water out of that pond because it's already got all that good stuff in there and bring it over here in those two tubs. So here's our canvas for the day. You can see he's already installed a cinder block wall. So this is going to create the enclosure. Inside here is where we're gonna put the fabric, liner fabric, and then stack slate walls all the way around. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so we've got fabric and liner in. <laughs> Look at all the tape. Look who joined us. Hey! <laughs> What did you think when I ordered that many spillway walls? I thought you went a little overboard. I didn't know. Whoa, looks like you guys are painters, right? Like you're getting ready. Are we sandblasting? The challenge with this is like, it's a pretty tight space. Mm -hmm. So the thought is they'll come and put a veneer on the outside of this. Mm -hmm. They built this wall for us, which is super solid. A capstone here, just rubber liner up here. That wall, I want to do the architectural walls all the way down here. Mm -hmm. Put in a couple curved ones. The, what are the architecture? You mean the stack slate spillway walls? Stack state slate spillway walls. <laughs> I also went with 360 degree top mm -hmm. on these. Mm -hmm. Even though those will be just above water, the idea is that trough would be a planting pocket to give them that waterfall or the sound of water. Yep. Trying to put a waterfall in this corner was going to get really, really difficult with the windows and everything else. So I just want to come straight up here and just a gentle water wall coming down. Love it. The hardest part, come up with some type of skimming option, mainly because it's got higher oxygen. Also just like dust and film and everything else. Like we need to pull that water in. So the thought was to take one of the stack slates, <laughs> railway walls, put it right in here, cut a notch, We'll have the suction lines from his pump come into the bottom of it and it'll pull water through it through a bunch of bio balls or something else. Um, lights, two up this one, two up this one. So maybe what we could do is, because this is all going to be a Mexican pebble bottom, like evenly space them and just, you know, kind of angle them up just a little bit so they catch the wall from the backside. All right. Perfect. All right, so these are all of our stacked slate walls. We brought these things out here. We've got our grinder ready. We actually have to run our plumbing to the water wall through all of these. So the plan is to come down here, put a little notch in the bottom of every single one of these. We'll run a two inch pipe through these guys. And then it'll come up through the water wall. And then Chris and Nick have got to cut the water walls to fit in there. The guys have prepped all of these buckets of gravel. We've got about five tons of gravel here to fill up the insides of all those things. Not only are we gonna bolt them together, but we're also gonna fill them up with gravel just to make sure they don't move around. It's gonna be a super cool project, super easy and different. It's gonna be awesome.
right now, I'm gonna kind of show you what we're up to. Nick is fabricating our stack slate spillway wall that's going to be our skimmer piece. Drilling a few holes down here at the bottom. And what that's gonna do. Look at that hole. That's a bad hole. That hole? That's a bad hole? It's a bad hole. He's gonna make a much better hole the next time, the next two. We're putting three holes along the bottom so that in the event that the water level ever does drop due to evaporation or anything like that, and the skimming action from this part in the top stops, then we have draw from the bottom. So there is a suction line that's coming through here. So. That's what we're up to right now. That's our skimmer part. We are in great shape. All right, so I'm back here and it's been months since I've been last over here. They had a bunch of stuff to do to kind of finish things up and I know there's been some modifications. So last time I was here, this was still plywood. They hadn't finished that and I just love the detail on that tile. Like that looks clean and definitely goes with the interior scape of this awesome office place. Very contemporary, very modern. Just a really cool building. And as you come in, imagine sitting in your office looking across this, but bringing customers in and seeing this one of a kind water feature. Now when we were building this, some of our biggest concerns were, how are we gonna hide the liner? So on this side, I'll show you in a second, there's actually just the liner, but on that back side, we didn't wanna see that rubber liner. So we used slate walls and put them right on top of the liner, filled them up with gravel, and then we used the 360 degree spillway because it was perfect as a plant pocket to run along this entire edge. Now he's played around with some different plants and has taken them out and he's just looking for exactly the right type he wants in here. The thing I like best about these architectural walls, especially the straight ones, is it lets us keep with that contemporary look. You can see too how we had to modify a couple of them. That's actually a wall that was cut to fit around this one and this was obviously a, the other side of that one. We can also cut off the bottom. So this is actually one unit right here, that's the topper. And then as we come down here, there's another joint right here. If for some reason I wanted to get this thing to exact height, I could always cut off the bottom to whatever height I want to. You know, we have them with the front spillway, we have them with a back spillway, or we have them like these, where they can spill out all sides. We also use the curved ones quite a bit. At some point, I hope to use them to line an entire pond. Let me know what you guys would use these walls for, if you could see using them any other way than I haven't imagined. The other thing that we changed is you can see our spillway wall down here. Now this spillway was originally designed to go from there all the way over to there, all the way up. One, the height got a little too loud, really tended to kind of echo through the entire space. The other challenge we had was right at this seam. Water sometimes would follow that seam and then come down here. And on this current wall, it's not a problem because if it goes down, it goes into this. But when it was out here, it would hit this ledge and then dribble out. You can also see how in the back, just in case the water ever followed that seam and went down the back side, we kept the liner off the back quite a bit and so it could escape through that little weep channel. Now, these will be used for plant pockets. So we've just got a rubber liner here. It comes up and underneath this awesome finished top here. The other thing we were really concerned about was the circulation in a pond like this. Normally we have a biofalls on one end, and a skimmer box on another. Aesthetically, a skimmer box was just not gonna work in here. So what we did, we cut a hole, water gets pulled through that hole, through the basket, just like we would have in a skimmer, then through some bio balls and filter media before the water is then sent through the plumbing that moves through these walls, and then back up into this, and then gently overflows. And then of course, we've got a uh, ball valve to regulate the flow on this thing. We knew that this was gonna be toned down quite a bit and the circulation we were gonna get from this was not gonna be enough to really pull that water across here. So with that big pump, there's actually two lines. One line feeds to this, another line tees off, comes down into the bottom here, right there, and water blasts out of the hole. So all of the additional water that this wall isn't using is coming out of here. And if we really look at this surface here, see how it's agitated? That's really helping pull this water push and then pull this water all the way across. And then of course we've got aerators and everything else in here. He's got 25 large koi in here and some of them are actually pretty spectacular. So I can't wait to see this thing finished with the plants in here. A very unique feature for us. Imagine this in your house, in your office, at your work. Anything can be done, ponds can fit 
anywhere. So I hope you guys like this whole process, the mindset that went into doing it, the end results there. Tell me what you guys would do different. Uh, I'd love to hear all about it. Oh, don't hit like, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff too. Thanks so much, see you soon, bye.